can take part and then that'll, that'll take care of itself. And there's also real pressure on the, the medical staff to make sure they pick the right, right team. team uh, 100%. Look, we, as much, uh, you know, I'm sure we could sit, sit for the next few hours talking about the Rangers game last night, but we have to kind of move on, guys. Time is against us. Um, elsewhere, Keith, across the city, we understand there's been reports today that Matt O'Reilly has agreed terms with Serie A side Atalanta. They haven't yeah. agreed a fee yet. Yeah, well, listen, you never rule really anything out in football these days because we all know that in the old days you used to say tapping up, but it's, it's gone on, it always has gone on, it always will go on. Whether or not this is actually correct, there's, the, the rumour seems to be coming out of Italy that he's agreed terms uh, on a, a contract until 2029. Um, completely unsubstantiated at this, at this side, um, but, but it's clear that At- Atalanta aren't going to give up the chase. Uh, they keep coming back. Yeah. And it, it, you're getting to the point now that eventually, as I wrote in the, the paper today, eventually these Italians are going to make Celtic an offer that they can't refuse. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that seems to be the way it's heading. Now, whether or not it's accurate that uh, they've been speaking with Matt O'Reilly's people and that they've agreed, you know, what the contract would look like, I I, I, I couldn't say, but certainly the, the speculation coming out of Italy... Uh, seems to suggest it's getting closer. I think we've all accepted for a while now that it's going to he's going to go. No. I don't know if he's definitely going to go to Atlanta. No, but he's but he's going to go this window. Uh, well, I think Bre- Brendan Rodgers will be hoping not, but the the numbers he must know. the numbers must the numbers will eventually dictate the situation. Yeah. And I, I, I think you know, with the amount of interest in him, it wouldn't be logical now. For, for the target number not to be hit. Somebody will hit that yeah. target number. Yeah, yeah. And then at that point... And what a move for them. Going to... Well, it's Serie A or the Atlanta, Premier League, yeah. whatever. Serie I was going to say Atlanta, it. Europa League winners. Um, I think Italian football might actually suit them better yeah, than, I agree, than yeah. the Premier League. Honestly, I, I don't... I, this isn't a criticism of O'Reilly, but I don't... I, uh, he's no like, lightning quick or anything to the Premier League, the pace, the intensity. I think Italian football actually suit him, suit him down to the ground. Mm-hmm. Some massive games uh, he play in Champions League. Well, when you think about Celtic paid for him, we were talking earlier on Rangers recruitment and trying to get players in, you think of what you can pick up on a on a relative shoestring. You've been picking him up for MK Dons for about a million, yeah. one and a half. <laughs> Remarkable. A few, year, a few years later, to go and get, to go and get right. twenty, twenty-five million. I mean, wow. I think, well, the other, that is. Yeah, and the other thing to factor into that is Lewis Ferguson was the best midfielder in the uh, top <laughs> flight in, in Italian football last season. So mm-hmm. Lewis Ferguson was the best midfielder in that in the country. If Matt O'Reilly goes there, you know he's got the the possibility, the potential to be an absolute superstar. Oh, I mean, mm-hmm. there's a, I mean, I'm, I'm saying it's a great move going to Atalanta, but. Jack was right. If he does well there, well, there'll be another even, even bigger move. Yeah, of that. whether, whether that's to one of the Serie A big guns or eventually well, to the Premier League. Lewis Ferguson was, I mean, the interest from Juventus and AC Milan, that was real. Oh, that was very yeah. real until Lewis yeah. Ferguson's injury. So, you know, that, that is some opportunity. If, if he goes there and hits the Serie A the way that he's hit the Scottish top flight, I mean, he could go through the 